How's it going people? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you've been enjoying the podcast and the Between the Lines series. Today we're going to go back to Tech Talk, uh, my product series where I look at products and review them. In today's video we're going to be looking at the new K4 harness mount plate. Uh, which you can take off and put on to any harness. You don't have to drill any holes anymore. So to start with, we're going to look at the history and the development of the product. For that, I'm going to pass it over to Steve Thorpe, uh, the boss at K4, to talk about that. Hi everyone, I'm Steve Thorpe, K4 Fins. This is the one I use at the minute. I've got the back plate for the harness, and the 360 on the top, and the 360 mount. The idea originally came from, I think the first one I saw the GoPro on was Ben Profit. But speaking to Ben, he reminded me that the, the first ones ever really were um, the ones Board Seeker developed with a kiting guy called Martin Hogg. And they had a backpack on with a camera in and then a bullet cam on the end of a pole. And some of you might remember that Andy King did a tutorial series with Board Seeker where he was doing forwards, pushes, double forwards. This whole thing on his back with a camera in his backpack is pretty impressive. When I saw Ben with his in South Africa and the footage that was with the first GoPro, I think, I thought we've got to do that. So I made my own. I just had a nylon block and an old race pattern. And uh, yeah, that was the start really. Friends started asking for them, so it went from there. Um, started moulding moulding the brackets, um, brought out the back plates, you can snap it straight on your harness. The carbon rods originally were from a, a, like a composite company that were churning them out, but we found they weren't strong enough. And actually, race patterns aren't particularly strong either and a bit too whippy. So we found a fishing rod company that makes them for us. Uh, thicker wool, a lot stiffer, so less whippy, much, much stronger. You really struggle to break them down unless you bounce off the bottom or land really badly on your board. Do three different sorts, the long one and the extended one. Really the extended one is just because of the postage from posting worldwide it's much cheaper to post something that's 90 centimetres long than the longer one but they're actually the same length you put them together all long and the extended are the same length. The standard one comes in 85 uh, which works quite well actually now with the 360 cams because you don't need to be so far out with the 360 you can actually zoom out a long way on the 360. That was a great insight there from Thorpey about how he came up with the idea. Now I'm going to go really deep down on why I think this is a great product and why I've really been enjoying using it. So I'd like to start off by saying how in the past I've always loved looking at videos from that harness mount point of view. It just looks amazing. It looks like there's a drone following you or you're in a sort of game. But I've always been a little bit reluctant in getting it just because I know you have to drill you know, holes into a harness. And if you've got a harness you really like, maybe you don't want to do that or you don't have a spare harness. Uh, with this new concept, it means that you don't have to do that. And I think what is great is you can transfer it onto any harness. If you get a new one, you don't have to drill new holes in your harness. You can just transfer it super, super easily. So that is a huge benefit for me. I was able to try this out with Miguel in Cape Town and it was great because we could be on the beach and we could swap the harness mount between us both without having to actually use someone else's harness so that was a really great thing about it super easy to put on super easy to take out and yeah so for traveling around it's super easy there's two parts to it the plate and the pole you can take them both apart and i just put the pole in through the sail just so the pole wouldn't get damaged when traveling it around so for me the second thing that i really really loved about this harness mount was the fact that you don't only get some really really sick angles uh, you know whether that be jumping around or wave riding and you know if you're using this in flat water freestyle or just carving around you can get some really really unique angles uh, or screen grabs and that's pretty cool but also it's I would say the best learning tool you could ever get you can put the GoPro on the mask you can put it on the boom on your head you can have some film at the beach but at the end of the day this angle where you can see everything really really clearly is so so amazing for teaching and, and improving so if you don't have a personal cameraman on the beach this is an amazing tool to improve and also when you land your moves to get some epic shots so those are just some of the amazing benefits i've got out of this harness mount but you have to bear in mind having a harness mount with a pole sticking out is not like sailing normally and i probably wouldn't recommend you go out in super extreme conditions uh, trying out the harness mount for the first time. I would say try it out in pretty tame conditions 
just to feel it out because it's not quite like saying normally with a pole hanging out your back. Uh, but after a while, of course, you do get used to it. It is a little bit strange when you're swimming, but as, as I said again, you will get used to it. But just don't try it out in the first time in huge mast high waves and 40 knots. So just to add one little minor thing that you might want to bear in mind is that we found that if you had like quite a soft harness, you're not going to get a really stable shot compared to if you have a hard kind of shell harness. Uh, the plate just sticks onto that or grips onto that hard shell quite a lot better and gives you a much sturdier shot than if you have a soft harness. But still, as we'll go into in a little bit, if you make sure that it's really nice and tight onto the harness, you're still going to get a pretty good shot. So those are basically my views on the harness mount. Now I want to go into a little bit how to set it up and how to get the most out of it. So to start with, you want to get your pole and put it right in deep into that plate as much as it can. Once you've done that, it's really important that you use with the Allen key that comes with it. Make sure you tighten it as much as you possibly can. Well, it's unlikely that it's going to come off, but it's more likely that you're going to get a twisted camera angle and it's going to be facing away from you and you're not going to get any of the shots. So make sure it's nice and tight and rigid so that's staying in one place the whole time. Now again this part is fairly simple. All you've got to do is unclip the two straps some, to make sure that it's all nice and loose. Then you can just slide your harness or slide the plate along your harness and then make sure it's right in the middle of the harness. Get the two clips together and then tighten uh, the straps as much as you possibly can. So as I said previously it's quite important, especially if you have a soft harness, to get those straps nice and tight so you can get a nice sturdy shot. So now you're pretty much done. You've got your plate and your pole together. You've got it on your harness, nice and tight. The last thing is getting your GoPro or any action camera that you want to put on there. Now I would recommend that you thread that string that comes with the plate around your GoPro or your action camera just in case um, something really bad happens you don't want to lose your camera. Now you want to get your camera angle right, so I'd recommend you do this on the beach. Make sure, check, get your mate to check it out to make sure you've got the right angle with your GoPro. And then always, I would say, go out for one run on your windsurf gear, come in and have a look at that footage to make sure that is in the right angle that you want and then you can spend the rest of your session knowing you, that you're gonna get all the shots. So that was my little review on the harness mount. If you like it, then uh, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel. There's loads of other stuff on there, especially the podcast that I've been doing recently. And if you want me to review any other products, uh, then let me know, write a comment or message me and maybe we'll do that in the future.